I saw a son name that starts like Mukasi. Yes, it's my huh? son name. It's my son name. Mukasi. And I'm seeing you, where you're staying. It's like I'm seeing rooms, but I'm seeing a shack on the other side. There was a shack before they built There was the a house. shack before? Yes, on top before of the foundation. You're speaking with me for the first time? Yes. Because I'm, it's like I'm where you're staying now. Okay. I'm seeing a shack. Mm. Huh? Yes. So they removed the shack. Yes, it was a blue shack. Huh? Yes. I want to pray for you because even you, there's a spirit. You see here. Yes. Your whole of your stomach, there are things that are growing here. Are you yes. me? Sometimes I feel like somebody is holding me yes. like this. Yes. There's this is something like I'm seeing something grow inside your stomach. Uh, Are you hearing me? Yes. That's why it's like sometimes you feel like it's tight. Yes. Huh? Yes. As if someone is holding it like this. Yes. So I want to pray for you. I want to release you from this problem of Satan. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. And from here, this person must leave your stomach because Amen. it's like there's something that is depositing things in your stomach. Yes. Sometimes it's like something is turning. Yes. Huh? Yes. So I'm seeing something like a fibroid that wants to grow, but I want to tell you that whatever that devil is trying to do in your life is cancelled today. <laughs> hmm? What are you doing? So you're the one who's holding your stomach in the night. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What am I doing? Yes. I'm praying for her. Nyakuza mfan. We're on Kusa. Yes. Hey. Yes. Hmm? So what are you doing, this lady? Why are you Yakuza. tying your stomach? Yes, it must be. Huh? Yeah. So why are you putting fibroid here inside? She must never have children. She must never have children. She must never have children. She must never work. She must never have a good life. Huh? She must be useless like that stupid mother. You, this child must be useless. Even now she's busy with school things. I don't think she'll succeed. Never. So we are holding this stomach. This stomach, we are holding the destiny. In yes. the stomach? Yes. Huh? Yes. It is right at the tip of her fingers. <laughs> Come out, you demon! Come out! Come out, you demon! You dirty spirit! The spirit of Sangomas. <laughs> Leave you, Sangom. She, you, you, you. She dropped you last time, telling her that you are delivering her from the same shit. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Hmm? Leave us alone. <laughs> Just free. My, my, my. When you sleep. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? Uh, the man of God has told me about the shack that was at home. I was even shocked because the shack was there a long time ago. So he said, like, uh, I have a problem with my stomach and which is this true. Because all the time, like, I'll feel like somebody is holding it like this with the nails and the other time I feel bloated a lot yes and for how long have you been experiencing these problems I can say since last year yes and how was it affecting you like my stomach will grow bigger even now like it is growing bigger it is bigger even now because like I tried drinking warm water I thought maybe the belly fat will go away but no and today, were you expecting to receive a word that you, of deliverance that you have received today? Yes, I was expecting because it was a cry in my heart since I came here today, yes. So I thank God for answering my prayer, yes. And how are you feeling now that the man of God located your challenge and also prayed for you? It's like I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. And now I feel light, 
Yes, because I I dreamt him the week before. He was praying me about I was praying for me about like the same problem that he was praying for me today. Yes. So you are no longer feeling bloated. No, now I feel light. I feel free. Yes. Amen.